Hi everyone, Adam Box here, and over the next few videos I'm going to be bringing you some Windows 10 tips. I finally have Windows 10 up and running on my main rig, so I'm able to bring you some crispy 1440p60 tutorials. Now the first one is one for a solution to a problem I ran into, which I'm going to quickly blow your mind with this OBS here. Whoa! But when I first tried running OBS to record other tutorials, it did not have DirectX installed, despite the fact that DirectX 12 is allegedly baked into Windows 10, and the fact that I had it installed on my Windows 8.1 installation that I upgraded from. But all you have to do is re-download it, so link will be in the description below, um, but it's just the, here, let me go back. It is just the DirectX web runtime installer that downloads it from the web, just click download, and uncheck everything and click no thanks and continue and then run the exe from your downloads folder which will be dxwebsetup.exe approve the little security pop-up that comes up and then click i accept uncheck install the bing bar because there's no way in heck you want that click next and it's going to install for you i'm going to go ahead and click cancel because i already have it installed i don't want it screw screwing up my stuff but it does have to download about a 3.9 megabyte file and that's all you need, so DirectX will be working for you. And that should apply for most of your games, however keep in mind if you're running into performance issues, there you will be requiring graphics updates, or graphics driver updates over the next couple weeks. Uh, Nvidia and AMD will probably be pushing them out pretty heavily over the next couple weeks. I went ahead before I upgraded to Windows 10, I went ahead and downloaded their newest Windows 10 driver as you see here. And then as soon as the upgrade went through, I went ahead and updated. And so far, everything's been working great. I have both of my monitors running at full specs, and everything seems to be going all right. Hope this tutorial was helpful to you. Be sure to comment, like, and subscribe. Let me know what you'd like to learn to do in Windows 10 in the comment section down below. And I'll see you next time.